Bioshock Infinite is a game rated M by the ESRB. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. We read that one in the first episode, but uh, it's above this door. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Place, Bioshock Infinite. On the last episode, we took a rowboat out to uh, the coast of Maine, got inside a strange-looking lighthouse. There's always a lighthouse, and rocketed up into the clouds. We're now at the, the city of Columbia, where we're expected to open a door and learn more about uh, this strange religion that's happening up here. Oh, the whole thing is moving. Look at that. Man, if that doesn't fill you with a sense of awe and wonder, I really don't know what will. I know, Mr. Rossignol. I've never had an oyster. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you are terrible. Hello. You guys aren't dressed like, uh, like the others. It's damned inconvenient when buildings don't dock on time. Yesterday, I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. So the building's dock. Holy crap. Good, Good to see you. I just eat this? Guess so. I would pay for it if you want. I got silver. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. God, this is gorgeous. Holy crap. My first thought now whenever I see beauty in video games is like, man, Mao needs to know about this. <laughs> She's been working through playing uh, through Bioshock 1, actually, so uh, eventually she'll get to this. Hello. The tower protects the lamb from the false shepherd. All of Columbia celebrates. What are we celebrating? An anniversary of the city? That statue... I, I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute... You know, divinity. Hmm? Gorgeous. What's going on over here? Psalm stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Salt and stall. Daily docking schedule. Uh, because all of the buildings are floating. I think we're ultimately going to be heading over that way. Let's see what's this. Uh, Hudson's. Best for 50 years. Yes, we're open. Yes, you can get some popcorn. Still picking up things here and there. And my health is actually, I, I think, back to full. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, Good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Yeah, the box of phone here. Let's take a listen. And then the archangel showed a vision a city. Lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? This is, uh, 
this will probably not inherently be a 100% run because it's blind and I am likely to miss something, but please, if, uh, you know, if you see something, say something. If I, if I miss an audio diary and it's something I can reasonably go back and get, um, you know, let me know in the comments. Sometimes I've recorded just a little bit ahead, so there's a chance I might not get it, but I do love all the extra lore, so uh, let me know and I'll try and find it. It does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. A Liberty Scout. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue forward. Is Fox Popula that? Now what does Fox Popula even mean, for heaven's sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means... Latin. Can't go in there. Picking up a lot of uh, little details here and there. Good day, citizen. You're looking fit. Thank you. Thank you. It's me, uh, Pilgrim. Pilgrim's welcome. Can't go back there. God. When you're walking the streets, everything's cool, but when you look out and you see the buildings just floating, it's a great sense of uneasiness. Also, how do they get water up here? I've got so many questions. And this is 1912. This is not a real horse. This is a robotic horse. After the victory and wounded knee, the angel Columbia did present herself to Father Comstock and show him a vision of the future. Wait, like all the rest. But it was the miracle child, the lamb, that is the future of our city. For the prophet has said that she in the tower will lead the son of below into righteousness. All clear. Good luck at the raffle, folks. So I'm picking up on this. There was a there was a guy who uh, met an archangel of God and was told to build a city in the sky and has a child, the Lamb, who will convince the world below, that's Sodom, uh, to be righteous. I think I got it so far. Bizarre. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. There's so much to take in. Patriot's Pride Confectionery. Columbia Raffle and Fair. with a sound. I thought this was money. <laughs> These little flowers. I was like, money? I'll pick up the money. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb astray. There's a grocery. Onions, $4 a pound. Bell peppers. Warm temperatures and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. Uh, on system, eh? A beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. You're on your on what? So that doesn't that doesn't give me a health kit, I see. Okay, I just have a health bar. Pay. Here you go. I paid. I can also take the money out. Interesting. Uh, eat banana. Oh, I can turn it on and off. I see. Um, the honor system is a very interesting way of doing business. But there's money just laying around and, uh, you know. Pick up some of that. Will that come back to bite me? Probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. What's this? Beware the false shepherd. How does this work? The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb astray. Who is the false shepherd? Is it him? 
Is it him? Or him? Is it you? Our only vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Or only our vigilance. Finn. Oh, I learned a lot. Uh, definitely. Definitely learned a lot there. Who is this girl? Yeah, the lamb is the girl. The child. Oh, you... You're in a trash can there, son. I'm gonna be looking through all sorts of those. Trying to see... There's so... Much. This is incredible. This is amazing. Alright, uh, I believe the game wants me to head this direction. Um, no, I can hold shift and run because it's a video game, of course. Uh, let's go over here and check things out, shall we? I'm taking all this in, man. I'm soaking this up. Care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Hello, ma'am. How we doing? And I can still hear them. It's fantastic. There's some stuff over here, too. Chasse White, home and garden supply, flowers, potted plants. And a box of phone. And some cheese. I'll leave the cheese. All right. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Lovely chatting with you, ladies. Nothing personal. I just need a little cash to buy some bell peppers. And possibly at some point, ammunition. I have no idea what the money's for. Like, I, Bioshock 1 and 2 are extremely co closely related. They take, they take place in the same place, in Rapture. But this game is very different, and I'm not really sure what it's all gonna be for. Yeah, I don't need any more, f I don't need any more food at this point. I'm pretty sure my health bar is very full. Look at these fireworks. Fireworks special. Nothing's more patriotic than fireworks. I am that kind of talk, friend. That kind of talk draws attention. Oh, don't turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popula, now do I? Huh. I'm... I can tell that I'm really gonna like this. There's a lot of strong themes going on. That's that's one of the reasons why I'm soaking up as much of the uh, additional little lore here as I possibly can. Well, that's striking. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Hmm. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number seventy-seven. Stop. Lutes. What the? <laughs> That was ominous. What? Okay, do not pick number 77. Why, good day to you, sir. Hello. Huh. There's a lot to see. Let's check over here first. Hello, gentlemen. Double barrel telescope. Look at the juggler. It's cute. Fireworks up in the air. Getting achievements for all of this. Open 
hiding over here. All right. Let's move a little more quickly then. Marlowe's patented vigors. Murder of crows. You keep saying that. Would you believe Should we go in? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? There was a juggler. I guess he's dead now. <laughs> Alright, further up. Look at her. Ain't she some kind of beauty? You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Yes, they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. Hmm. So there's a very selective process to allowing people into the city, it looks like. Hello there, friend. There's a lot of children playing. That is actually a pretty big difference from Rapture. I mean, aside from little sisters, there's no children in Rapture. You wanna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. We're on the block. Better find another way around. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink, to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. Huh. So... Told you a man could shoot plasmids. From his fingers now, but of course, these have been developed me? in a... If I told you in a, a different time. This is all... all everything in this game, I mean, 1912, that air. precedes uh, the events of Bioshock. Well, The envy of all his peers. Oh, I can't wait to see what the word of the prophet says now. Looks like Jimmy's friends are jealous. Because Jimmy's dad gave him a pack of minor victory. The only brand designed especially for kids. Oh, okay. So the kids hear smoke. Shotgun Barker. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Okay, hit the devil three times. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? I'll cast out the devil. <laughs> I will protect a woman and child. Wrong person. And there's devil number one. I did it. I did it. I cast out the devil. Get out of the way, miss. I gotta cast out this devil. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. Thank you, thank you. Devil number three. Uh. And that's three. We have a winner. Yeah. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lost it, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Interesting. I'm assuming I don't still have that. This is all super cool. A very interesting way to start a game, too. Fear not. I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You there. You got what it takes to keep our city safe? Yes. Mighty fine prize if you can keep those skylines clear. I would love Good to man. do that. Now take aim and blast those evil Vox out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you a prize. Evil Vox. What am I shooting at? Ah. Oh, man, this fella goes. 
That's right, doggone it. I've held a shotgun once or twice before, friend. Two at a time, baby. Second place? I'll get to 20. Well, I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Interesting. So they're trying to get you familiarized. It's a very interesting way of doing a tutorial, too. Like, there's... this God, this game is losing character. I thought the first Bioshock games were great. Nothing back here that I can see. You look perturbed. Let's give this a shot, shall we? How'd I do? Do I get some? My prize is searching the garbage. Thank you, sir. Those horses are just a little jittery. Makes me uncomfortable. I mean, and also the idea of robot horses, too. Oh, I see that you're uh, enjoying the sweet, sweet taste of minor victory. Oh, Columbia. Oh, Columbia. All right, uh, further up then. Cast out the devil if you're lucky. Have you used one yet? Oh, not. No. I have. Liar. Honest. Nearly blew the windows out of my house. Huh. What's going on over here? Colombian flag company? 15 cents a dozen? The advances in science and wonder we've seen in our lifetime. Soon enough, Fink and Lutess will be sending folks to the moon. Lutess? That be something. Moon people. I need to meet this Lutess character. That's who sent me the hot telegram. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. Red Box hot, hot dogs, Boxophone. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Vending machines are a thing still. Hey, look at this. Say something, Sonny. What's a Boxophone? What's a Boxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Huh. Wild. Okay. Uh, there's a lot to see, but I've really enjoyed the the, the way that they've uh, the way that they've set all this up. More than one of those damn tools. Next way, darn things. Like, the way that they're doing this is like, it's a big celebration, it makes sense within the, the structure of the game, but it's also like, teaching you about every little aspect of Columbia you need to know. Of course, the information man has no information for me. That's me! You got it. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Kind of miss some. Fire in short first. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Doggone it. Thank you, sir. I do my best, sir. You got first place on that one. Can I take this too? The answer is no. It's interesting, it doesn't cost anything to play these.
I really love the, the addition of like the live music element. This is the second time we've seen that. Are you okay? The handyman. Come on down and see the amazing handyman. Is he man? Is he machine? Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel. I do not like this. <laughs> this I do not like. He looks so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Oh, that's a take. That's definitely a take. lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Gracious. Press to turn machines into allies. With possession equipped, press the right mouse to make a machine friendly to you. What the hell was that? And this is just probably the same thing from before. Huh. Use phonograph. It doesn't seem to do anything. So, I now have a, uh, a Vigor. Which makes... Machines friendly to me. I can buy a ticket to proceed here. I bet he could lift that entire booth over his head. Oh, what do you know? Salt machine. Oh, I bet this restores my vigor juice. What's wrong with good old vanilla? It must be vanilla all the time. Howdy, sailor. What port do you call home? Any port in the storm? You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Carrots, two dollars a pound. Let me, uh, I'm just kind of curious. We have to continue on that way, but, um... Are you a machine? Apparently not. But at least now I know how this works. And these run on salt, so we can always go to a salt machine to restore this. Got it. I'm picking it up. All right, this is uh, this is where we're gonna stop for today. Thank you so much for watching, man. It's been two very incredible episodes of world building. Like this place feels freaking alive, man. Absolutely, and things are peaceful right now. But I know that uh, I mean it's Bioshock. It's gonna change. There's gonna be a time uh, very very soon where um, things are gonna be quite different. Looking forward to seeing uh, what happens when that day comes. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Steven Plays Bioshock Infinite.